In this video I'll be going over how to use a separate image that has an alpha map uh, over a curtain composition that you have. So let's say for example I have a file here that has an alpha, a little circle in here. It could be anything that you have, uh, anything that you want. Uh, and I have another file here that doesn't have an alpha. For example, you know, you might be doing certain lighting tricks inside Maya or Max, or any other equivalent 3D application that requires you to put some sort of dome in the background and your render layers just aren't working. Uh, what do you do? Well, After Effects allows you to essentially mask out of these objects using a separate file that has an alpha inside it already. Uh, but how do we do that? Um, I'll go over that right now. So here's the composition. I've already created one. What you need to do is create two of these compositions. One that has a mask inside and the other is um, the one that contains that composition plus the uh, color in the background. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to just copy this and paste it. Just control C, control V. Now I have two compositions. Then I'm going to drag both my um, images inside. Uh, the no alpha is the image that has no alpha inside. So you can double check and see that. Um, see there is no alpha in here. Alright, so I'm going to work on composition 2 first. This one's going to contain the file with the alpha inside it. So here's my no alpha. Then I'm going to take alpha here, place it in there, and place that on the top. Make sure that your alpha is on top of the no alpha. Then right click on alpha, go to blending mode, and then just go to stencil alpha. This will let you cut things out underneath. The problem about it is it'll mask out everything that's underneath it. So if I were to make a new uh, solid here, I can make it red and you'll notice that if I put this underneath, I can't see it. That's because it's masking everything underneath. And I don't want that. So that's why I put it in a separate composition. So I'll go back to comp1 here and I'm gonna put comp2 in and solid, I can grab my solid from, um, uh, well actually let's not use red because it's kind of blinding. So I'm going to new solid. And let's use another color that's not so uh, bad. Let's use a cool down tone of this blue or something. Okay, and I put it underneath and you'll see that I've been able to mask out everything else and I'm able to put another image underneath. This is quite useful in case you have little accidents, and etc. And you can always do an, um, an alpha after the fact. Um, my setup in Maya was I simply dropped a server shader on the sphere, removed everything in the background, removed all the lights, and I rendered it, and I got an alpha from that. So again, that's how you go about creating a separate uh, alpha pass and using that in your comp inside After Effects. I hope that was useful for you.